I had some thoughts on how some people might profess to actually be addicted to cannabis. <clears throat> um, they might not be aware that they have some kind of level of discomfort or even pain or depression or something and the cannabis actually helps them out with it and then when they stop they realize well I feel like shit again um, that that might make them think that they're addicted I I don't think that I'm addicted um, I, I can go for a while without it and I can suffer some pretty serious pain uh, you know I can I can function at level 7 um, I, I really don't want to though <clears throat> and and when I don't have time to take a puff or eat a muffin or whatever it is I need to do um, I'm not afraid to take the Excedrin extra strength um, the problem with that is that it is mostly caffeine and you know as a pain reliever <clears throat> and that can cause backlash headaches from an addiction to caffeine so I, 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 I don't think there's any possibility of backlash headaches from cannabis so in that sense I would recommend it over aspirin or caffeine or any of those other things um, you have to be mature though you, you can't be a stupid fuckhead and you know think you can make a bunch of noise and not upset people you, you, you can't be stupid um, so far the, the this male plant thing that I think I should probably get tested uh, for CBDs versus THC <clears throat> it, it makes me less stupid um, I can still laugh um, but I, I don't come up with quite as many noteworthy jokes it's more deep thought um, some of it's a little disturbing and again I think that might be because my body wants to generate tears which is a real odd way of saying I'm trying to have an emotion maybe <laughs> um, that's something I'm also pondering I think I'm good for now <laughs>